Tangerine TV! Hello everyone. Um, I just thought I would show you how I am going to decorate my food journal that I just bought. And you can do this with any kind of journal or notebook. It doesn't have to be this. I actually got this one at uh, Barnes and Nobles. And I just really liked it because um, I liked how the meals were all separated out and then you have your calories, fat, grams, carb carbohydrates, everything all gridded out. And personally, that's just what I like, you know. Um, a few of the supplies that you're gonna need is scissors, a glue stick, and I uh, bought these at Walmart. Um, you can use regular duct tape rolls. I personally just liked the sheets. Um, if you have like, you know, a measuring board or a cutting board, I liked these sheets because it's gridded out and it'll be easier for me to measure when I cut. And these were about 188 each at Walmart. I bought four of them just in case, but I think I'm going to use all of them. I went ahead and I already cut out some, um, I don't know, like uh, sayings because on the inside cover of my journal, I'm going to make like a dream board. So I went ahead and cut those out already. So what I'm going to do, I've decided that I'm going to make the blue cheetah print the outside and I'm going to use the brown for the inside cover. So I'm going to start with the inside and I'm basically just going to uh, measure by sight using the grid lines on the opposite side of the uh, duct tape roll sheet. And just I'm all I'm doing is I'm just lining them up as best I can to the grid line and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut and I'm measuring about about one square so like a square inch away and then I'm just basically just gonna start cutting I'm gonna cut everything out trim it up all right so once I have a cut I'm gonna make it so there's a nice one inch border all the way around um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over, but before I can do that, the, I'm going to cut these little corners off. I'm cutting one square inch corner off of each side of the duct tape sheet. And yeah, the grid lines are just awesome. It really makes it a lot easier. So once you have the grid lines and everything cut out, you can go ahead and with the corners cut out facing on the outside of the book cover, I'm going to peel and carefully, I mean very carefully, put this on the thing because if you don't do it very carefully, if you get it stuck together, you're kind of screwed because it's duct tape and it kind of doesn't cut out the way that you think it would. Now I'm slowly going to start folding the edges over very carefully, um, just to make sure there's no bubbles or anything in that. And I'm going along each edge, and as you can see, I already messed up. <laughs> but I'm just trying to make sure it's nice and even. And you see, because I measured it out, I have these nice border around the edges of the book. And basically you just do the same thing as you would do for the outside cover. And I'm just gonna fold and carefully put everything down. Now that everything's down the way that I want it, I'm gonna start placing my, uh, mo my motivational sayings inside the way that I want it. And um, this glue stick's purple, but it dries clear. And I'm just gonna start gluing it down and in case you're wondering it that says flourish from the inside out and that's what I'm trying to do with my diet you know eat vegan and flourish from the inside out so as you can see um, this book has a place for personal goals and it has a place for uh, a before and after photo and I so I took a photo of my face with my little Polaroid camera and I'm basically just gluing it down I think it's really important to have a printed out picture of yourself it's, it's like much more um, dynamic than just having one on your phone. So this step is absolutely optional, but I have this sticker that I got from a vegan food truck and I've been wanting to put it on something. So I figured, hey, put it on the top of my journal. And this is, you can put whatever you want. It's your thing. You can do whatever you'd like. So at the last minute, I had all this extra duct tape and I figured, hey, I'll put um, my initial on the front of my thing and I'm just doing it in a T and it was pretty easy because of the grid lines and that's it super easy um, I really like the way it turned out um, it's been said that if you do things in the color or the patterns that you like your eyes drawn to them and you'll be more likely to pick it up so that's why I wanted to snatch this book up and uh, I hope it gave you guys some ideas thank you so much for watching